na mga ka-addict. Totally addicted of modifying my electric scooter. That's why I ended up adding again new accessories on it. This is the U7 LED headlight. You can switch between center bulb with halo and halo alone. There are high beam, low beam, strobe, and halo options in this headlight. Wildman storage bag. Good for keeping small tools like Allen wrench, mini screwdriver, and any other small things. And a mini air pump. I also use rocker switch. This is made up of aluminum and plastic. It's an on-off-on type of switch. Kili bar for mounting U7 LED headlights. Handlebar extender for the switch. Bottle holder for the Wildman storage. Bottle holder mounting bracket adapter. And a DC pigtail plug connector for plugging to the power source. Let's start. This is the U7 LED headlight. It has three wires. The black wire is the negative that goes to the negative line of the battery. Red wire is for the center bulb with the halo light that connects to the switch in the positive line of the battery. Yellow wire is for the halo light that connects to the switch in the positive line of the battery. This rocker switch is perfect for the U7 LED headlight. Perfect for switching between center bulb with halo and halo alone. Let me just first demonstrate how this three wired U7 LED headlight works. This is the battery, wire output voltage, U7 LED headlight wire. Black alligator wire clip connector. Clip to the negative output of the battery going to the negative wire of the U7 LED headlight. And red alligator wire clip to the positive output of the battery. This other side of the red alligator wire clip connect to the positive line of the U7 LED headlight. Yellow is for the halo, red is for the center bulb with halo. I started stalling the kitty bar. I cut small piece from my old handle grip to fit well the kitty bar on the steering tube. Next was the U7 LED headlights. Finally, the U7 LED headlights are set on place. Wildman storage and the mini air pump was next. But before that, I needed to install first the bottle holder mounting bracket. This is the soft rubber ring insert to provide snag fit for the adapter. Next was the bottle holder and the mini air pump bracket holder. Check the alignment, tighten up the screws, make sure there are no wobbles. Then I place the mini air pump and the Wildman storage. Next was the handlebar extender. After the installation, I place the rocker switch on it. Position the switch depending on your comfortability and make sure it's tight. These are extra arms of the handlebar extender. And this tube is a spare from the transformer handlebar which I use as a grab bar. Then I installed the two extender arms on the steering tube. Next was, I proceeded to wire connections. Since the wires are long, I wrap them around on the steering tube neatly. And all the wires goes to this side. These two wires are from the U7 LED headlight, and this one is from the switch. I use voltmeter to find out which combination is on A and on B. And also to find out which wires to be connected to the positive line of the battery. What I did is that, I look for the continuity. 
Continuity is the presence of a complete path for current flow. With the voltmeter set on continuity, you will hear a loud beep coming from the instrument if there is complete path for current flow or continuity. Finally done testing, the blue and the brown wires are on A. Blue and the black wires are on B. And the blue wire is the one that goes to the positive line of the battery. Then I started soldering the wires. I soldered the black wire of the switch and the red wires of the U7 LED headlights together. The brown wire of the switch and the yellow wires of the U7 LED headlights are soldered together. Next was connecting the positive blue wire of the switch and the negative black wires of the LED headlights to the DC pigtail power plug. The red wire of the DC pigtail power plug is the positive and the black is the negative. Then I use heat shrink to cover the soldered wires. Wire connection is totally done. Then, I ran the wires into the tube all the way through the other side. This is to less expose the wires and the tube will then protect and hold the wires securely. I tighten up the screws and I also ran the other switch wire into the tube. It's recording bro. What did you say? <laughs> These are my friends, Sabina. Hello. And this is Arma. See you guys. Bye bye. <laughs>